burns the troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic steel and clay Got hidden swords Riddles be praise Our gods pass in a wild erase It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Tribes of goblins that are moving to rejoin, or not rejoin, but to join a uh, large multi tribe horde that it has been uh, a, a problem for your guys' legion. Biddles be Hornswallow here to take on the mission with his compatriots. As as auxiliary units, you guys are able to engage as you see fit, and you've been given free clearance to um, however you guys best determine to deal with these goblins. Uh, your legate is, uh, right? It was a legate, right? I believe so. I believe so as well. It's actually like... Oh, no, it was a centurion. It was your primus. So, yes, your centurion <laughs> is, uh, expecting, expecting great things from you guys, especially with how... How promising your uh, interactions with Arg are. Oh, yes. Uh, interactions with the troll. Yes. Well. Gaiden, we have our orders. We have several goblin tribes to take care of here in the caves. All right. Uh, I suggest the easiest form of action would be to, uh, shall you say, s tell the troll that there was a food thief amongst the goblins. In each uh, tribe, we could point out a different one. That seems to have fared us well this previous mission. But then again, we are flying by the seat of our pants here. Yes, I think something like that might work just fine. Well. You have the uh, option for combat, uh, subterfuge, diplomacy. It is all entirely up to how you all wish to proceed. Well. Uh, did we have 
uh, like a bearing of where the first like goblin uh, troop would be, like the direction in which to travel and such. Um, it's it's a variation between north to east um, of your current location of the camp. Um, if you give me a d6 roll, I'll let you know which one is uh, the closest. Okay, I will roll a d6 for you. I got a 2. Though, the closest is the Skull Crush tribe, which is the one that has the troll. Hmm. The Skull Crush tribe apparently has a troll of their own. This could be a problem if we let them uh, learn how to wield such a deadly force. Berg is ready whenever other people are ready. I'm all for travel as well, Arg. Uh, I didn't know you were present in this company. Uh, well, um, neither here nor there. Uh, Arg, what say you to, uh, Stopping a fellow troll from claiming your kill of the food thief. Are you no trolls like Arg? Arg will defeat the food thief thief. Mm. Yes. We shall henceforth call this troll the food thief thief. That's a stupid name. Yes. Yes, indeed, Ark. Yes, indeed. And I believe with stupid that... Stupid name we... for stupid troll? <laughs> yes. Yes. A stupid name for stupid troll. Uh, and I believe we, we head out after that? Is, is that what you guys are doing? <coughs> you guys are heading out to meet the uh, Skull Crush tribe? Works for me. So, right. Berg is entirely reactive and passive, so... Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's, Biddlesby has been given directives. Biddlesby will, will do so. Okay. So, I believe they were to east of you guys? I believe. So it's uh, roughly based on the last reports that you've been given, um, which you have a you have a substantial stack of reports. Um, the, the last reports that you were given, yeah, you can intercept them in probably about two days, which puts them at about six-ish days away from the main goblin encampment. Okay. Okay. So they're they're pretty far out from their main home base, then. Well, they're, they're moving to join the larger group of goblins Ooh. that are currently engaged in. Right, right, right. That, like your your whole legion is fighting off or is trying to fight on these frontiers against these goblins and these last six tribes are moving to try and join the larger goblin collective right Gaiden what say you
yeah, let's head towards the... Head towards their cave. All right. Um, you do remember, uh, the Centurion, um, told you that, uh, the, whoops, the, the Dark Fang tribe was one that he had particular interest in, uh, you guys attempting to convince to join, um, the rest of the fairy folk as an attempt to, because they had the, uh, essentially the more diplomatic goblins in there. Sorry, I'm getting to... double audio still. Um, yeah, we should, we should go try to cut them off or tear up their homes. Yeah, you're getting double audio? Yeah, it's my particular situation I'm in right now, but oh. I'll be fixing it momentarily. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the, what's it, the, the Dark Thing tribe, and then the Skull Crush tribe, he wanted you to attempt to capture the other troll, or convince the whole tribe to also join, because a secondary troll would be amazing. Granted, he also made sure it was clear that you're don't risk the mission if you can cool if not eliminate that threat right uh, I know it's been I know it's been a week so yeah or two weeks so just wanted to make sure that that refresh was, thank you refresh. <laughs> we appreciate it yeah so uh, but you guys are heading towards the skull crush tribe and so two days out um, let us see here go ahead and uh, is the check I'm looking for I believe it's I gotta pull up the other thing real quick hold on character sheet Okay. Give me a survival check. All right. Survival check, you say? Yeah. Uh, well, question is, who is, well, who is in front? Who is the one that's uh, scouting out ahead? I would hope guided. Okay. Yeah. All right, Gaiden, give me a survival check. <laughs> All right. As you are scouting. Sixteen on the die. So I guess that, I think that's plus zero, so sixteen. Okay. Uh, well, at a sixteen, that's very good. So uh, you end up noticing several like Ford scouts from the Goblin tribe. Small numbers of them, like you know, onesies and twosies, uh, out scouting around, making sure their path is clear. Um, you're able to spot them before they can spot you. Okay. So you can relay that information and you guys can either avoid the scouts or remove the scouts. Best to avoid them, I think. Yeah. Um, so... 
cool. Are, are we outside? Um, you guys are underground. Okay, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just turn back real quick with the utmost stealthiness. Well, I'll back up without turning around first, and then I'll turn around and then go back to the crew. Okay. Make sure I don't make too much motion while I'm seen. Right. So you go back to the group, and what are you telling the group? Or are you just relaying that there are four, like yeah. there are scouts on the board? Yep, a few scouts ahead, um, best to try and avoid them, just not make them missing or give them any reason to come and find us. We can definitely attempt this, Gaiden, but, uh... Arg? Can you be stealthy? Okay, Arg is going to try and be stealthy. Alright, well, you already know. Give me that sneak or stealth or whatever it's called. Stealth check? It is a stealth check in agility. So you add your agility, and if you've got proficiency in agility, add one. Is that right? Uh, you'll add. Or do you just two. add agility? You'll add two if you have a the uh, bubble filled in. Uh, but I believe you also add agility. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So I've got a three in agility and proficiency in agility, which makes that a twenty-five because I rolled an at twenty. <laughs> so as you go, Arg, can you be stealthy? Um, he's gone. Arg's not there. Yeah, like <laughs> Arg, <laughs> where you once saw a troll, um, you watch um, almost like a strange flash on Arg's skin, um, and Arg goes invisible. I huh. note that down in my journal. Arg, it costs you no magic for this invisibility that you have done. Because reasons. <laughs> reasons pertaining to Arg's backstory. Well. I think that answers my question. Now I wonder. Can I be stealthy? <laughs> And then, uh, Gaiden also rolls stealth. Yes. I'm looking at a 30. I'm looking at a 6. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so we've got a 13, a 6, and a natural 20 for 25. <laughs> okay, so, um... The commander is the least stealthy one. Oh yeah. M mostly out of concern at the fact that you no longer see Arg, you don't know where Arg is. <laughs> um, you're you're kind Diamond, of like looking down. Arg the... could be getting into all sorts of trouble right now. We need to find him immediately. Um, as as you. You, know, you guys are moving forward past all these scouts. Um, you you stumble right next to a scout who surprisingly is sleeping. No. Um, and like as you almost step on him, you kind of do the little step over thing, and nothing happens because he rolled a natural one. Oh wow! <laughs> so describe his sleeping situation oh, he, here. He is, like, he found himself a little, like, cut out in the ground. So he's on he's, post. Like, not even on post. Like, he was, he's a Ford scout, so he's out there. He's supposed to be scouting around, and he's like, eh, I can take a nap on duty because other people are also doing this job. So he's essentially a traitor to his own people. You could, you could get away with that, yeah. You might be able to get some information out of this guy. He's a weasel. A blue um, falcon, you might say. 
Arg, uh, Arg is going to try and take a meal to go. <laughs> so basically what Arg wants to do is pick him up and put him in his backpack as gently as possible so that he doesn't wake up. Um, did you just see that goblin float? Oh, there's Arg. You, you watch the goblin float and then disappear. <laughs> Uh, the goblin does not stir. Uh, as well, Arg, you, you, you I, I'm just going with the natural twenty thing. You pick up this goblin who is sleeping in your hands like a like a small kitten, and you just put him in the backpack, <laughs> and you have food for later. <laughs> Uh, you guys proceed to keep going unaccosted uh, you you notice the goblin camp after about another day of yeah, slowly trekking through yeah, these underground passages and warrens and if you find yourself yeah, outside of this camp you see the troll uh, in the center of the camp Lots of, lots of food given to the troll, and you notice like chains wrapped around the troll's arms, uh, various rude things like pushed, like almost uh, what would you say, uh, like implanted in its skin from like combat and stuff. It's like spears, axes. Anchor ah. points that the chains are wrapped around. Hmm. Well, if it was a compass with us, I would think about flying in there. Yeah, the troll does not look like it's very well taken care of. We should save it. You want to save this malnourished food thief thief? I wink at Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the, the food thieves put in there, didn't they? Arg, still invisible. Dope slaps you. What? I bend down, scoop a big handful of dirt off the ground, and I throw it at about where Arg is. <laughs> Arg you... moved. Arg has already moved. You throw dirt at where you assume the slap came from, and it just flies in the air. <laughs> Arg was not there. <laughs> uh, so what is your plan of action? for this camp, and how do you plan on accomplishing your objective? Well, I guess we're just going to have to get these food thieves on ourselves. Um, I don't know why they would these food thieves would capture this troll like this, but I think we should save the troll as a friend to our friend from the food thieves. Yeah, I, I scoop down good, real yeah. quick again and I throw another powder of dust in a 360 degree circle before anything can happen. <laughs> because an action is equal to any other reaction. <laughs> uh, as, as you go to slap him, Arg, uh, he's anticipating after he says this. He reaches down and just launches dirt everywhere. <laughs> so you know the... Um... Faceplant dope slap in in cartoons where it knocks the character on their face. Yeah. Yeah. Guy did. Well, good thing I ducked it when I bent down to get the dust. No, no, no. This is after you threw the dust. Art looks down and sees the dust on him and is like, ah. Yeah. Well, naturally, I, I see the dust moving through the air and I dodge it. Yeah. As 
as you throw the du the dust and dirt, you watch as it like hits a solid mass that is Arg, and it starts to you know fall off of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you see the dirt come at you, and you duck down real quick. Yes. And then as it comes for me, I duck under his legs, and then I run after him as he as he like passes past me, and then I do a like a, a wall flip off of him, and I hang glide in the air, and kind of hover in mid-flight, just out of reach. How far and... are we from the goblin team? <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys are probably like... Precisely. You guys are at a good scouting vantage, so you guys can see the camp. It's probably maybe 200 feet away. Mm. It gives you a good enough sight so that you guys aren't, you know... You guys aren't right on top of the camp, so you're not gonna. This, uh. This... You guys are professionals. This horseplay will not do, soldiers. What are we here for? Can I see anyone who looks commanding from here? Um. Make a. Uh. Make an awareness check, actually. So that's just D20 plus Prime, right? D20 plus Prime, unless you... Uh, I don't know if you can you... be... Uh, skilled I've in. got a little dot in awareness. I the, do have a little dot in awareness. You get that plus awareness. two as well. Okay, so two Prime well. 2 D20. Alright. Yes. Okay. Alright. Um, that's a seven. Seven. Um, yeah. Roll me a d4 and let me know if it's odd or even. Uh, even. Um, so as you scan through the camp real quick, uh, seeing if there's any commander type individual in the camp, uh, you look at the troll. It is a female troll, and it looks to be in distress. Um, whether that means anything to Arg is completely up to you, but that's what draws your attention. And the yeah. female troll does not seem to be uh, as as much as a malnourished troll is not a threat. It is not a threat. <laughs> like not the biggest fight you'll have. You have fought. Fine, Arg troll. is going to save the female troll. Well, I'm just saying, Ark has fought bigger and... No, no, I, <laughs> I flipped the coin for it. Ark feels sympathy for the troll being chained up. Okay. That's that's what draws your attention. Uh, Biddlesby, you uh, ask, what are you guys here for? And Ark doesn't say anything immediately. I just kind of like look where he's looking. Do you I get the vague sense that he's looking at the, the troll? Oh. But without being able to see Arg, you get the vague sense like he's kind of distracted. Gotcha. Which is about the most uh, normal reaction from a normal person that you would anticipate. But for Arg, completely weird. Yes. Hmm. He seems to be distracted by this female troll. I wonder. Shall we free her? Arg has no particular opinion. Are you attacking camp yet? Gaiden, do you think it wise? To attack this camp, well, that's what we're here for, isn't it? As you hear from the sky. 
All right. I draw my uh, Gladius great sword. <laughs> All right. You, you pull out your Gladius and you. I assume you guys are still stealthing up towards the camp. I would like oh, yeah. to to stealth, but I'm I am armed. Yeah. So Art has a plan. I'm gonna use my super stealth in flight and darkness and all the things to go ahead and just go through and go for a throat. Okay. Uh, so you're you're floating up and you're you're doing your flying thing. Mm -hmm. uh, basically invisible as well for all intents and purposes because it's dark and you're using your flying and hiding. Uh, the only person who's relatively visible uh, oh yeah but group check <laughs> <laughs> the commander basically inadvertently creeping up behind arg arg's invisibility blocks biddlesby oh that's hilarious and so you guys get uh, so to the edge of the camp <laughs> arg is going to look for a pile of stones near the edge of camp and i mean like Skipping stones for a troll. Oh, yeah, so you find so like, discuses. Good, yeah, you find like. I mean, as much as a flat-ish stone is underground, uh, you find troll-sized flat-ish rocks. They're not the most yep. uncommon thing. <laughs> uh, Arg collects a pile of them on a hill. And he starts just lobbing them at important looking tents. So are you doing this from like a little bit a little bit of ways? Yeah, not too far. Probably I don't know, like fifty feet from the camp. Enough that it's hard to see, but okay. close enough that I get a really good bombardment angle on the whole camp. Right. So um Middlesby, as you're creeping up inadvertently behind Arg. Yes. Um, you watch, you, you're watching his rocks disappear. And then you, like, you keep crawling forward. You're like, okay, Arg's doing something. <laughs> and then as you're maybe 10, 15 foot away from the edge of the camp, you hear uh, the whiz of a rock fly overhead at a completely unreasonable speed. Or go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh, oh my. Let's see, what do we do with that again? That's uh. It's just a uh, prime d20. No, wait, wait. Uh, attack plus spell check. That's what it is. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, all right. It's been a so minute. My first first is a for a minute. 14. 10 plus 4. Okay, so you got 10 plus 4. So, yeah, these shabbily put together goblin tents. Middlesby uh, and Gaiden, Gaiden floating overhead. Middlesby creeping up. Yeah, like one hand on the ground, sword outreached, and you just hear this god awful whoosh of a rock fly by and just obliterate a whole tent. Um, and you see like a bit of blood spurt up, along with you know the scream of pain. <laughs> As the rock, go ahead and do a. Uh, like we'll do a D4 plus your might. Perfect. That is five points of damage. Yeah, as you watch a. You hear the help of a goblin as this rock essentially acting like a siege like a siege engine, a catapult boulder just smashed into this tent and absolutely wrecked a goblin's night. And 
Arg has initiated the combat. Mm. So we roll initiative. So let's see. Uh, since I started combat with an attack check, that means my initiative would be D twenty plus combat mastery. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Because it's what you're doing. So let's see now. Uh, both of the other two are stealthing, so they both roll stealth checks for their uh, initiative, right? I believe, yes. Perfect. So that makes mine a dirty initial. 20. Yeah, at least for the initial bit of this, yes. That makes mine a dirty 20. Okay. Go ahead and give me a minute. I, uh... Initiative, uh, guide and middle speed. Initiative. I've got Where's the initiative? I roll a Your initiative uh, is gonna be whatever you're doing at the time combat starts, so you were oh. stealthing, so your initiative oh. is gonna be a stealth check. Okay. Well, it's an 18. 18. And then guide. Can you also give me a stealth check for your initiative? A stealth check and initiative? A stealth check as your initiative. Okay. Because you were sneaking. Yes. <laughs> I've got advantage. You do have advantage. We don't stack advantage, right? Just one advantage? Nope, just one advantage. Okay. Uh, if you have more than one advantage, you, I believe, get a plus two to your whatever you roll. Okay, then. I know it's cumulative like that. Kind of like if you roll, like if you're needing to roll to attack something and you get above, or if you get five higher than what you need to roll, it's a plus one to your uh, uh, damage. And it's like a 21. 21? 22, I think. 22. Okay. Alright, um, so you have caught these goblins with their pants down. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, as, as a group, you guys have caught these goblins with their pants down. So, Arg, your first attack was that. You still have more actions, I believe. Let's see here now. Number of actions. Where would I find? Not seeing it on my character sheet, so let's see what the rules say. What's that? Mm -hmm. That Sorry, we are doing it. Nice. And so we are still learning the, the ins and outs of the system. 39. Let's see here. Okay. Action points, which you can spend, spend in common. Your action point maximum is 4. At the start of combat, each creature gains a number of action points equal to its AP maximum. Once the action point is spent, it can't be used again until it is regained. You regain them when your turn ends. Action points can be used outside of combat. Using action points. So you can attack okay, alright. Yeah. Okay, right, okay, gotcha, alright. Pretty, pretty basic. You spend an action point to do something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right, well, pretty straightforward what I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually going to, if it's possible, take an action point to reassess for good targets. Using... I mean, I, I, you don't really have to take an action to reassess your... Like, you have a good vantage point, and, like, you're... Victoria. It's a goblin camp, you're full. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for a chieftain food supplies, and anyone who looks like they're ready to fight. Okay. Do I see anything uh, in particular like that? Make another awareness check. Natural one. No. 
Um, okay. Um, weirdly so enough, we'll you're more concerned about the troll now than what you were uh, before you before you engaged. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, how many chains are holding, or how many anchor points are there holding the troll in place? Um, it's. Um, I would say. Eight of them in total. Eight. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a wild attack, an attack against one of the guards around the trolls, and an attack against as many of the anchor points as I can hit with a single shot. Okay. So, wild attack is going to be 22. Okay, you, you hit Damages. a lot. 1d4 plus uh, might, D4, right? 1d4 plus might plus 2. Because you got okay. 10 over what was needed to hit. Gotcha. That'd be 7. Armor class is only a 10. Or what gotcha. The, not armor class, but Physical, physical defense. defense. Yeah, is a ten. Yeah, that's seven points of damage. To anyone hit by that rock? Yeah, you guard walk, target. Yeah, one of the one of the goblins around the troll female is just his head was there one moment and it is gone. All right, a wild attack into the camp. Natural twenty. Okay, so you go ahead and roll the damage real quick. Full damage. So that is 4 plus 4 plus 4 since I got 10 over, right? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, a dozen points of damage. Um, you lob this rock, and it smashes through a tent. It goes into... Uh, you hear this clang as it hits against something metallic and uh, you as this tent is falling down you notice this goblin get rocked by the, the stone you've thrown and yeah he's covered in armor he got spikes sticking off of him the whole time he looks intimidating as far as a goblin would try to look intimidating um and yeah, you just dented the back of his helmet. All right, and chain strike. Chain strike. Okay. All right. I actually got a fifteen on that, so it's nineteen. Okay. Uh, same armor class for the chains, or sorry, physical defense for the chains. Yeah. All right. Two six and two. That's going to be. Oh, wait, sorry. Two, four, and two. It's going to be eight. All right. You watch as the rock, it smacks into the ground at the base of one of the uh, chains and, like, kind of digs a furrow through the chain and the next chain and the next chain as three of them spring loose out of the ground from the impact of the rock smacking into them. Uh, okay. So, I believe that is and your. That, that, that is my turn. Good. Okay. Next up is going to be um, Gaiden. All right. You listen as the the crack <laughs> of these rocks flying through the air at a speed that is terrifying as Ark is launching rocks and you just watch the devastation he wreaks on the camp and then you see this armored figure get beamed in the back of the head by this rock and like he almost topples over completely that's where my swooping point is as soon as I see him hobble I'm swooping or like I'm going in for that like a falcon strike all right And I'm no. switching to my spear. Okay. You have advantage on your uh, first attack because you are stealth. I'm just going to run this guy straight through. Okay. 
he did take <laughs> he did take a hefty amount of damage. Yeah. Okay. Where's that? <laughs> oh, advantage. Yeah, it's fine. Eighteen plus. <clears throat> 18 on the die. I don't know. <laughs> um, attack plus four. I believe. Uh, so that'd be your yeah combat mastery plus your prime attributes, and your combat mastery is half your level rounded up. So your one plus your prime attribute. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken, so, yeah. You have four. Yep. That's exactly what it says here. Yep. So you have so it's a plus five. CM plus prime. Whatever. Combat mastery. Okay. Combat mastery. Half your level rounded up. So it should be five altogether. Uh, added on to whatever you roll. And what did you roll on the die? Four plus eighteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Alright, so your armor is a heavy armor is a plus one. Do over ten points, or do you, you hit over ten? So that is yeah, spear is uh, two or three. Range. Yeah. So uh, I assume you're using both hands. Oh yeah. So you come flying in uh, three plus your. Um, uh, when it comes to damage. I, I believe it is for that three and then oh sorry just double checking again So I would assume you would add your what what your plus five. So so three plus five and then plus two for the extra uh, damage for going over would be ten points of damage. He is still up, but he is bleeding for. Do we get second attacks or just one attack? You get four you actions get. that you can use every turn. Hot dog. <clears throat> so as I run them through with my long spear, I'm gonna plop my feeders down onto the ground. I'm gonna pull out my short sword. Okay. You you essentially impale him with a downward thrust, using the momentum, land, pull out your sword. <laughs> And thrust it right into his chin. All right. Roll the roll the attack. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, twenty one. Okay. Uh, you get a plus. Yeah, you still get plus two for the. Uh... All right. So, uh, what's the short sword do for damage? Two slice. Two slashing. Okay. So two. Seven, eight, nine. So nine points. You up through the chin. It was like, yeah, because he's, you know, he was hunched over from being hit by the rock, and then you stabbed him, which caused him to jerk up in pain, and then land and thrust up straight <laughs> under the chin into the brain. Goblin just stops moving on essentially this this big toothpick. <laughs> I pull up my sword, spin it, and grab the shaft of my spear and tip it forward so he just slides off and, and hits the ground. And I end my turn. You you have spear in hand, sword in other hand, as you expertly flurry this chieftain essentially onto the ground. Biddlesby. I just watched my two soldiers take out the chieftain, yeah. yes. You watched the chieftain drop. Uh, <laughs> as 
as the rocks come flying through the camp, just causing havoc. And every like you can see the shock on the goblins' faces as uh, this is this was not accounted for. This was not planned for. What is happening? And then rock flies through tent, and a goblin is dead in one of the tents. And then another rock smashes through the tent right in front of you. So and you hear the playing, and then you watch Gaiden swoop in like a falcon and take out the chieftain. I would like to stand in the middle of their camp. Like, rush into the middle of it. Okay. Uh, and then, with one of my action points, I'm gonna try and use influence. And I'm going to say, That feeling deep within you, that fear, Hold truth to it, because nothing you planned is going accordingly. And that is what you wrought when you left your home to join this band of goblins. If you wish to live, now is the time to flee! Okay, so you want them to run. Yeah. I, I'm essentially wanting to use the momentum that my party has done to, like, route the morale. Okay, I will <laughs> roll a roll the influence check. We need to kill. I'm giving... Yeah, we just gotta break them. I, I'm giving one opportunity for those who want to peace to leave those who pick up weapons to fight us now oh it's on let me know what you got on that roll all right so i've got a tick on my influence that gives you a plus two plus whatever that attribute is beautiful already. my good sir i'm looking at a 17 all together all right um 12 plus 5. So you, being the biggest aside, well, okay, not the biggest, being the second largest <laughs> uh, creature of in your the party, camp, yeah. you, you charge forward, you stand there, fully armored, sword in hand, and you, you deliver your speech. You watch as it's not just fear that with you standing there basically above their dead chieftain, it's not just fear, it is pure terror has gripped the goblins. That, some that of them, I kind of flex my, my arms. Oh yeah, some of them have my chest. fainted, some of them uh, might have <laughs> even had heart attacks at this point. <laughs> oh man! Uh, because they rolled a natural one for their morale. In no it, way. They are not just broken. They, they will, it, after a few moments, you know, like a minute of them just looking dumbfounded and afraid, scatter to the winds. I look at the ones that are fainted and the others that have had heart attacks, and I say, Arg, your snack pack has been replenished. Art, you you hear Middlesby say this. However, the troll female has your full attention. Oh, the troll female is still here. Yes. And Arg is with with the uh, the, the what was it? Natural one for your awareness. You are. Mm -hmm. You are absorbed in the the female troll. Oh no. Okay. Not, not right. in a romantic interest way, but, uh, unless that's what you're, unless that's what you want it to become. But in just the sense of life, she drew your attention at first, and then you seen the, seen that these little goblins were able to do this to one of your kind, even though you might not be partial. 
struck something inside of you that Arg is not familiar with. Whatever that might be, up to Arg. Uh, so yeah, Arg is going to lob another two stones. Basically just keep the goblins running, right? Anywhere he sees a group of goblins or a goblin that looks important, he'll take a pot shot. Uh, 17 and 17, two thirteens. So, okay. uh... Yeah, you just watch this another two goblins. Pink mist, essentially, from goblins running away. And Ark runs into the camp. He snaps the remaining chains with an action. I could, I could take out... There were only four left, right? Yeah. So I should be able to do that with one attack, right? I'm just saying that you've done it. It's basically combat's over at this point. You guys have... Perfect. You guys broke. Well, the camp uh, in well, an instant. <laughs> so that you might change your mind on that. Uh, after the chains break, uh, Arg decks the other troll in the face and says, "Arg unfriendly to you." Uh, this troll looks up at you. Um, it's it's been injured, beaten. One of the tusks are broken. Like, it seems as though the f most of the fight has gone out of this troll. So as you say, Argon friendly to you, and you kind of like roar in her face. Uh, she just kind of sits there in a almost broken state looking at you. Arg, like, nudges her a little bit, trying to get her to get up and, and move. You kind of pick her up a little bit, and she she hesitantly and, like, wobbly stands up. And Biddlesby, as you yell out that Snack Pack is, is ready to be claimed, there are all of these goblins on the ground, and you have a very malnourished troll in front of you. Arg is going to make her some spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> Arg starts gathering up goblins. At this point, you hear the scream of a goblin in your backpack. <laughs> oh, no. It sounds like the scout <laughs> has finally awoken. Arg reaches into his backpack and pulls it out and just eats it. While gathering up the other. Right, and then what were you doing, guys? Like, I'm gonna uh, slowly approach the the female troll with my weapons put away. Okay. You uh, you approach the, the female troll, weapons away. Wings what? tucked in my normal holding pattern as to not be presented. Okay. What and you, I'm gonna, through? I'm gonna lay on a small, um, layer of mesmer, just so she could understand me better. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna approach you. I'm gonna help you. And then okay. as soon as I finish that sentence, I'm gonna release the mesmer. Okay. Arg starts collecting up these bodies of trolls, or bodies of goblins. Uh, Gaiden, you walk up to the female troll. She seems to be okay with your approach. Biddlesby, you're watching all this unfurl. Is there anything you'd like to say and or do? I would like to look through the chieftain's quarters for any uh, tactical uh, stratagems and uh, any battle uh, tactics that they may be jotting down. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm essentially wanting right, to know if they're employing new uh, tactics in this upcoming war. If they have new technologies, mayhaps. Okay. 
Um, Alright. Give me a... Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, investigation check. Arkin is going to start making herbal remedies for the troll while picking the the weapon bits out of her hide. Okay, yeah, you start... You begin to, as... As delicate of a surgeon as Arg is, remove these irritating bits of metal from the troll female, and then begin making an herbal concoction. Go ahead. I'm going to support Arg real quick before he finishes removing everything. Um, as he removes each um, piece of iron, each sharp iron that digs into her, I'm going to seal each wound with a finger. So you're, you're throwing some healing in there? Yeah. All right. And, and if it's a bad wound, I'm going to just kind of get it clean and staunch any bleeding, at least. Are you an insane? Yeah, so I don't drain myself. Also, do me a herbalism check. Herbalism. Now, how would I do that? It's uh, If I have the skill, it's just plus two, right? It's, yeah, for every one of those little dots, it's a plus two. Gotcha. All right. So that works out to a 12. Okay. So there's not a whole lot of material in the goblin camp to make to make a large quantity that you would feel comfortable. Uh, or you feel comfortable with what you can produce to, to help stave off the majority of injuries. And yeah, it, it's a good healing solve. Uh, Though you would prefer there to be more material to, to use, you are able to make enough for, for her. And, let's see, you guys are healing her up, so, let me see how much you guys can heal her for. Okay. So you guys are able to heal her up uh, a decent amount. Um, you guys give her essentially six hit points worth of healing between the yeah between Gaiden doing his healing magic and the the poultice that was created. And then you're of course giving I her use a goblin tent. Use a goblin <laughs> tent as bandage because you know oh, yeah. size difference. Yeah. Um. And so you guys, you guys patch her up pretty good. Um, she's not bleeding. Um, she looks a lot more healthy now than what she did before. Um, and so yeah, that that goes that goes pretty well. Um, Mid uh, Biddlesby, my bad. I have a nineteen for my investigation. All right. So as you're as you're doing your investigation, Ark comes over, grabs the tent of the uh, the goblin cap, the goblin chieftain, like the one he was right in front of. And as he grabs the, the essentially the structure of the tent, the cloth, you just watch these little papers scatter across the ground, and you're like, "Oh, let me pick these up real quick and start reading through." Uh, there are details of how they captured the female troll. Um, and beyond just those details, there is someone who is essentially selling weapons and armor to these goblins, which is why this chieftain was so well armed and armored. Uh, does it mention a name of a supplier? It has an initial under essentially the the receipt, kind of, of the armor that the goblin got. And all you see is the initial of a big R. I look at that. I look at how they captured her. 
and as, as you look at the two things, you notice the receipt is done in a hand that is not goblin. And it is signed with that R. So as you're comparing the different papers, you're like, this is goblin writing, this is not goblin writing. Mm. Hey, Gaiden. Yes. It seems like our goblin friends have a supplier. That would explain this one's armor. I'm thinking they may have uh, other species involved. This handwriting's too neat for the goblin kind. Uh, let me see it. Here. Hey. Yeah. I, I too concur, that's definitely not Goblin. Too many light bulb. Rays for all of that. Yes. It's almost like someone wrote this in the daylight. Rather than by candlelight. make that suggestion the uh, <clears throat> the camp is yeah uh, you guys ran take a take a moment to ransack the camp arg doing most of the ransacking looking for various herbs and things that can be used for healing and you watch your your troll companion just engage in behaviors that are so abnormal <laughs> for a troll <laughs> I go to start jotting down like the abnormalities and then I just say but that's just arg <laughs> you write that down that's just arg <laughs> <laughs> one thing that does stick out though is you didn't get a look you didn't get a good look at the symbol but there was a symbol that flashed on arg when he went invisible. Huh. And so you guys have, you guys have successfully, um, not just uh, removed the Skull Crush tribe from the equation. You have thoroughly uh, broken the Skull Crush tribe <clears throat> to the point where there is no more Skull Crush tribe. Skull Crush lies scattered to the winds. Yeah, the, Our, the goblins. Uh, surviving goblins will tell the stories about the fear they felt. That night. Ark walks over to the Skull Crush, crush Chieftain as part of the ransacking, right? And uh -huh. pulls his helmet off and then squishes his head. <laughs> That's a war crime! <laughs> you just hear this splat. <laughs> like. <laughs> almost like one of those really big pimples just got popped. Just a... The sound of it hitting the mirror. <laughs> yeah. I turn and I just well I'm not going to stop him are you it's kind of already done Arg isn't it Arg notices their attention and turns and just like shrugs skull crush <laughs> I chuckle and say alright Arg you win this one <laughs> um are you guys going to like take the armor from the goblin, or are you guys just leaving the armor? <laughs> I think we. Yeah. So Arg is going to uh, Arg is going to take the bracers of the goblin, 
right? Because mm-hmm. they're big and metal, and he, he he thinks can hit harder with this. But they like they fit on fingers, like like finger um, uh, gauntlet pieces. That's as, yeah, as, as far as he can fit them on. Yeah, like they go they go up to like your like they go past the first knuckle and then stop, like on the second knuckle. <laughs> And then he takes his fingers and like clangs the the gauntlets together, like fist clashing, but with the finger gauntlets. Cling, 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 cling. <laughs> you got these two little finger rings on Arg. I'm gonna take the smallest piece with a cartouche on it. Okay, you're gonna a cartouche. Yeah, the marking from the creator. Oh, um, do an investigation check as you look for a sign of, like, a mark from the creator somewhere on this. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, 16. Okay, um. As you're like looking over the armor on the outside, you're like, "There's no, there's no markings here," and like, you see the helmet, like upturned on the ground, with a little bit of goblin blood like pulled up in it, and you notice that there's a the slightest indention. You wouldn't have noticed it had it not been for the blood that like you could see where the blood is not fully flush against the metal and there's just this tiniest of rivets where you see the same R that was on the note that the commander has huh. it is faint subtle max um so look at this Be guiding Do I sure. recognize oh. this as a family symbol or sigil? Um, do you have any kind of heraldry knowledge or anything like that? Or what kind of traits do you um, have? Is this connected to gnome or goblin? Um... No. Mm. That's why I'm asking what kind of trades, or do you know of any kind of like heraldry things? No. Or... I've got cartography and herbalism. Okay, this is this is not something that you're particularly skilled with. Mm. You don't know very many You're not well entrenched in like various blacksmithing families and stuff like that. Well, mm. Would I know of anyone in the upper ranks that wears particular armor made by particular craftsmen? Um, the Centurions usually have better armor, and then obviously officers have better ranking armor. Um, and what's the general quality of the armor? Um, it's it is uh, the same par as the armor that uh, Biddlesby is wearing, but the same standard quality like, it's okay. not exceptional but the it, it's good quality especially for goblins this is this is top tier for goblin because goblins don't usually right make stuff like this yeah this is pretty rare yeah so like this goblin obviously <laughs> like either did something or somehow got money enough to scrape together to, to have this made but also knew somebody who's not goblin crafting and was able to make this right okay does the helmet have a faceplate like a, a uh, mobile faceplate no it's it's got basically it's uh, you know it's a normal cap with the nose piece that comes down Okay. Yeah. So, like, the eyes down to the cheeks are kind of open. Okay. Arg is going to snatch the helmet from Gaiden 
and and like looking at it, right? About how big would it be in the in in Arg's hand? It, it's the size of a goblin skull in your hand, so, so it's not like, that big. Yeah, no, that's that's not even that's not even the palm of Arg's hand. Yeah, uh, it's it's not big. <laughs> so, so he grabs it, and he holds it, and he's like he's turning it a little bit, and he's like hands it back. No good drink, cop. You keep. Huh. Soup bowl? Arg looks at you like you're stupid. Not even spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Not even spoon. <laughs> Dessert cup. Dessert cup? <laughs> Arg yeah. looks even more offended. Call you that your, your scrambled brain. Just one lick. It'd be good to Arg, go. Arg gets his thoughtful like little, look on his face. Little, and then starts running around and tearing heads off of tearing heads off of goblins. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. See, see? This was your I, I this is your fault. Back out to him. You did this. Arg snorts and turns away as he grabs like um a soup cauldron from the goblin camp, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Something I mean, they, like they had ten times yeah. the size. I yeah, look over had, back like, at cauldron. Biddlesby and I say, "We should probably go while he does this. He's gonna have a little treat." <laughs> yeah, he's he's making the spicy food for the lady fair. Yeah, um, yeah, you, yeah. You know, the the main cauldron that the goblins were using to like cook their meal for the night. Arch <clears> goes. <throat> This is mine now. <laughs> you know the canteen cups that uh, you can get for camping and all of that that yeah. you can hang on your belt. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what Arg does with that. That's that's his cup now. <laughs> it's their and cauldron. It's is your cup. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then um, Arg goes around picking uh, all the goblin cabbages. Um, so to speak, <laughs> and then you know he has. As you guys friends. are leaving, as you're leaving, you hear Arg say, "Come here, goblins! Arg need to pick your brain." Oh, ho, ho, ho. so are you guys trying to take the troll back to the camp, or are you guys letting the troll go free? <laughs> no, that the, the troll is going to follow Arg. Okay, oh. so you're you're bringing the troll with R. Arg is claiming no, 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 companion. No, no. The, the the troll is following Arg of troll's own free will. If right. troll knows what's good for them. Okay. <laughs> Arg, give me an influence check. Influence, influence. It's under charisma. Okay. All right. Eat the troll. Eat the uh, troll. Fifteen. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Eat I rolled troll. an eight on Eat the, the troll. die. Eat the troll. So the troll is following you of the troll's own free will. <laughs> nice. And as yeah. you oh, that was what's good for it. As you're like plucking goblin heads, she's kind of like ripping goblins apart. Sometimes she eats the goblins. Sometimes she just rips the goblin apart. Uh, there's a couple goblins where she does the pluck a leg, pluck an arm, pluck an arm, pluck a leg. Everybody needs a hobby. <laughs> Art doesn't judge. You get the you get the vague sense that some of these goblins she has more animosity towards than others. Uh, but yeah, you guys clear out the goblin camp. Um, there's not a whole lot worth um, noting. Um, give me a... Each of you guys give me a d10 roll. Okay. I got a two. Nine. I also got a two. And so... Um, Biddlesby and Arg, you guys both find um, two I'm going to say gold coins uh, 
Yeah, I'll say two gold pieces essentially. And um, Gaiden, you find nine gold pieces. Right. Arg just drops them on the ground. He does not care about gold at all. But is there like a gigantic central tent? Like a you destroyed hall or a... <laughs> right, but you destroyed the biggest the, tent. The, it was a big tent, like almost arg sized, right? Big tent, but not arg sized. There, there's no like big tent, tent, big tent for ball. goblin. Yeah, there's no like mess hall or anything. The biggest tent was the chieftain's tent. You use that to bandage up the lady troll. Well, right now, how big was the center pole of the tent, though? Oh, maybe like six, seven feet. Maybe six foot. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Arg <laughs> now has a staff. <laughs> Arg has a six foot tall pole that he walks around with now. <laughs> it's really more of a cane, but yeah, it's a staff. Because I have no weapons, so I've cho- I I picked this up so that if I have to, you know, if I can't touch something, and now something to whack him with. <laughs> All right. He has become the Monkey King. He is now Son Wukong. <laughs> <laughs> so you you have to take the take the staff, the, the pole. Uh, yeah. And I did. Um, I I found two gold coins. I picked them up. I dropped them, and I moved on. They're lying on the ground. I definitely yeah. will claim those. And yeah, so now I have four. You have four gold coins. Immediately, the fairy in you goes, gold. Gold. I have to. It's... I love gold. I have to take the gold. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys... As far as equipment goes, there's a couple basic weapons. Yeah, you know, a couple basic swords. Um, the only thing that was really of good quality was the armor that the goblin was wearing. I think um, that's already been divvied out. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are taking the whole thing of armor, you're more than welcome to. If you're not, that is also fine. How do the greaves compare to mine? Uh, they're about the same quality. Um, Which one's slightly better? Not, like not, better? not even like a point of difference. Just like. In lore, which Biddles be, which one would Biddles be like prioritize out of necessity? Uh, well, if you're asking which one's better in appearance, yours is better in appearance because yours is, yeah, you know, yours is legionary ar- legionnaire armor. Got this it. Fashion more... souls understood. Yeah. <laughs> Same same defense rating, yours just looks better because it's not made for a goblin. Understood. <laughs> There's a little animosity you carry towards goblins. Yeah. Oh, uh, what are you guys wanting to do now? Are you guys wanting to continue mission and, and move to the next tribe and intercept them or are you guys wanting to go back offload the troll um what's the next nearest tribe well that that's a good question The next one is the Dark Fang tribe. Dark That's the one we're supposed to be recruiting if we can. Yes, that is the one you were. That is the one where the Centurion would uh, wants you to recruit. Uh, more so than killing, if it has to come to killing, he understands. But if you guys can, definitely recruit them was his uh, emphasis. Can I take the like cloak or cape of the Skullcrasher's chieftain? 
Oh yeah, you take like their little like their little banner. Yeah. Yeah, you take their you take their banner. All right. I'm gonna bring that as a negotiation tactic. Okay. Well, um, are you guys wanting to continue here, or are you guys... Uh, I think that's the perfect place to stop, actually. Alright. Is that so cool with everybody? To... Works for me. Okay. We can go after the other tribe next week, and then right. we can drop off with the results of two tribes, and then resupply and figure out what we're doing from there. Sounds good. Sounds right. good. Well, that works. Because that means that actually works out really well because then you guys will be dealing with the, the two most um, delicate tribes. Ah, yes. Yeah. And then it's just a slaughter fest to beat them before they can join up with the rest of the tribes. It's, it's again, it doesn't have to be violent. <laughs> it doesn't I have to be Well, let me put it this way. If anyone lets tri- Arg make the decisions, it, there, there is only one decision. It is violent. Arg believes in diplomacy of... Arg, Arg believes in diplomacy of you obey me the first time. That's, that's pretty much his shtick. Yeah. Uh... Okay, well, wonderful. Um, hey, it, we have some amazing people here in the Midwest Dungeon Delvers. I'd like to give this like last little bit of time before we end today's episode to go through each of them so they could introduce themselves and uh, just uh, say a little bit about what they've got going on in their life. So let's start with the person to my left, and that is Gaiden. If he's there. I am. Do you, do you not want to... Introduce yourself, Gaiden. Ah, uh, like my IRL spell? No, you don't have to do your IRL. Just your username and just what you got going on in your life. Ah, oh, yes. I'm Gaiden, aka Kit, aka Shadow Ninja, aka Doge. Um, I do some things. Uh, been motorcycling. Except for recently, but more on that later. Nice. On to you. Well, well, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful indeed. Going on uh, one of those things that my my dad used to call them the kill me quicks. <laughs> yes. Yep. If... Stab them up and run them through. That's what I always say. Yep. It's uh, sad, sad but true. If uh, people use them irresponsibly. That's right. That's why you do them safe and with a group. Alright. Um, now to the person to my right. This big hunk of meat and viscera. Yeah. Uh, Arg uh, is my name in the game. I play chaotic neutral. I do whatever seems right at the time. Uh, I also go by Stiltskin. Stiltskin the storyteller. Got a couple other usernames here or there, but that's me in general. As far as me in real life, uh, I'm a salesman. I'm a phone salesman. I sell lawn care. It's exciting. I want to get out of sales. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. And, of course, our illustrious magnificent Story Master. Uh, Story Master is a little bit of a long stretch. I'm Corn's Demon on everything. Um, <laughs> I 
uh, what what I've got going on is I work in a factory and I'm slowly working on actually trying to do short stories. So I've got one in the proofreading of the first draft and I'm rewriting this rewriting the second draft now. So there that's about all I got go. going on aside from, you know, I run <laughs> this lovely game for these lovely people and then I run another game uh for solo uh not solo. Um private another private game for these fine folks as well. Um and that's uh that's about all I do. All right. Well, you are also the moderator for Wolfie's channel. If you want to go plug, oh her real yeah, quick. that that is also true. My 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 amazing wife is Wolfie G thirty three. She uh hops in every now and then on Midwest stuff. I don't even know if she's in right now, uh, but she she does streaming along with Midwest, and sometimes they stream together, and it's wonderful. Like today, they were streaming Space Marine. Oh, two. that was a lot of fun with you. That was great. It was a great time. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, it is, uh, you know, that, that's all for me. Well, all right. And ladies and gentlemen, you know who I am. Who, well, who, who I usually am. Which, let's go ahead and bring that back into uh, fruition... I guess with a little ha huh? Oh no Why this tax man on my Oh and Stuba let's not forget Stuba over there being a muted boy uh but either way one one way or the other much love to all of you and uh thanks for hanging out today uh we did a bunch of stuff today we had our long stream where we had all the good stuff go on and we had our first episode back of a a ttrpg thank you guys so much for tuning into midwest dungeon delvers and hey if you want you can check out the new merch in the merch store by scanning that QR code up there in the corner. Every little bit helps. We get new stuff. <laughs> this is acceptable to great. Watch the troll with strength of stone. Cave and mud is ancient home. Blending ages, milk and honey. With brass, the mud men's irony Oh, the tales of night and day Grit and magic, steel and clay Got hidden swords, fiddles be praised Our gods pass in a wild race It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Dances through the midnight straw